Oh hi, welcome back. Let me show you one of the most amazing effectors in Cinema 4D called the Inheritance Effector, which is this one, used so that the particles that form the letter A will inherit the position of the particles that form the letter B as we are dragging the field, just like so, as the letter is morphing into another letter. Let's make one. Hold the left click button, click on text, type anything, for example you want to morph the letter O so that it forms the letter K, type O, afterwards um, change the thickness to bold, the height as well, and then the depth as well, just like this. Afterwards you copy the text, you paste it, and then type K. Drag it to the right, just like so. We've made it. All we have to do now is to animate the particles that form the letter O so that it will be dispersed and then it will form the letter K with the inheritance effector where the particles that form the letter O will inherit the position of the particles that form the letter K. Alright, right click on the first text, click on connect objects and delete. Same goes here. Alright, let's make a particle. Hold the left click button, well, you can make it cubical, click on cube, make it small, for example, 10 by 10 by 10, just like so, oops, my bad, no, 30 by 30 by 30, that's enough. Afterwards, um, you clone it, click on cloner, drag the cube into the cloner, name the cloner O, then you um, head over to the cloner, and then afterwards, um, you um, change the mode into object, drag the 3D letter O into the object, that's it. And then um, change the distribution mode to volume, change the count to 350 for example, hmm. change the volume mode into surface just like this, and then you copy and paste it, and then you name it K for this cloner, the second cloner. And then um, you drag the 3D letter K, which has been converted into an editable object, just like so. Oh, easy, isn't it? And now, hide both of the letters by double-clicking on both of the area for each letter. Afterwards, you get to animate it. Click on the cloner that is named O. Head over to MoGraph, Effector, Inheritance. This is the effector that is used so that the particles that so that the particles that form the letter o will inherit the position of the particles that form the letter k all right um now go to effector drag the cloner with the name k into here click on morph motion object and then um all we have to do now is to um hide this double click here. Afterwards, you click on fields, click on linear field, so that the morphing takes place. <sighs> Done now. Alright, the particles that form the letter O, in this case these cubes, will inherit the position of the cubes that form the letter K. Easy animation, eh? That's it for the video about the inheritance effector in Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But for me, it's good. Ciao. Okay.